Later that morning, Thomas was at the Sodor Steamworks. He was having his brakes fixed. Thomas liked the Steamworks. There was hustle and bustle, sparks and spanners. It was lively and friendly. And there was Victor. Thomas liked Victor. Thomas, tell me, my friend, what were you doing there in the middle of nowhere? Pulling seven loaded flatbeds. Are you crazy? Next time Spencer tells you to do something silly, do me a favor, will you? Say no. Okay, Victor. Thomas had almost forgotten about the contest with Spencer. His boiler was bubbling with excitement of a hero. He wanted to tell Victor, but he knew he couldn't. Other engines might hear, and then someone might tell Sir Topham Hatt. So there you are, Thomas. Broken down, I see. Seven flatbeds must have been just too heavy for you. Good morning, Spencer. Well done. Spencer was amazed. He wasn't expecting Thomas to be cheery. Uh, what did you say? I said, good morning, and well done. I, I... Do you have a job to do, Spencer? Or are you just going to stand here gossiping? You're taking up a lot of track. Spencer was shocked. No one speaks to me like that. Then Spencer slid away, sneering. I want him to dare you. He's all silver steam and bossy boiler, that one. <laughs> Thomas laughed. He liked Victor. Okay, my friend, you're all fixed. Please stay away from Mr. Silverstein. Sir Topham Hatt needs you on your branch line. Thank you, Victor. Oh, Kevin, what are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you, you don't drop things, you lower things? Slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. I was trying, boss. Just a slip of my hook. Behind Kevin, Thomas saw something very interesting. A wagon with an old piston cylinder on it. That would be good for Hero. I wonder if Victor would let me have it. Thomas puffed away, excited. <laughs>